Hello and welcome. Let me introduce you to Talent Cloud on Microsoft Azure, a partnership established with a focus on simplifying a complex trend in today's modern business. Companies are regularly making important and strategic business decisions based on data-driven insights, and this is true across any industry. But how can your company be sure that they are collecting high-quality, trustworthy data in the right way to ensure the analytics are both accurate and therefore applicable? That's where Talent Cloud on Microsoft Azure comes in. It's natively designed and built to discover the trusted insights you want at the speed you need. Let me show you how this works. I'll demonstrate two common use cases to illustrate why Talent Cloud on Azure is exactly what you need to properly move, govern, and review your data assets. Our first use case focuses on a retail scenario. It involves monitoring the performance of a clothing business in real time. With real-time monitoring, I can be sure the business decisions I make now are supported with the most up-to-date information. I have a dashboard displaying Customer 360 and Orders data. But for this data to be effective, I need to see it updated on a very regular basis throughout the day. I want to track how many orders are happening within my North American region, what is the average basket size, how much people are spending, and so on all in real time. That way, for instance, I can gain instant insight into the average age and gender of my most frequent customer and therefore better direct my marketing campaigns and widen my customer market. I can achieve this real-time streaming data by using Talent Pipeline Designer. I'll log in to Talent Cloud, our environment hosted on the Azure platform, allowing me to build data pipelines. Within Pipeline Designer, I have three main menu options, including a list of my available datasets, or my data inventory. This could include ADLS files, database files, files from within my Snowflake instance, and more. Using Talent Cloud on Azure, I'm not limited to just the Azure ecosystem. I have full connectivity to everything across multi-clouds and on-premise applications. Here are my customer orders streaming in via a Kafka queue. I'll identify them as the source of my use case pipeline. Within this view in Pipeline Designer, I can quickly see what trust score was assigned to my dataset, identifying the trustworthiness of the data within. I can see a breakdown of its completeness and whether it has been shared with me or with anyone within my team. I'm able to drill into extensive details about the data. I can review brands, prices, and purchased quantities, among other details. Depending on my viewing preferences, I can also review the same data within a grid format. With my source dataset ready to go, let's add it to a new pipeline. Automatically, my source is placed within the design window, and it provides me a sample of my source data within the preview window below. Next, I want to accomplish two things. I want to get this data into ADLS and splice out the customer data. I can do this by adding a replicate processor to indicate two different flows within the same pipeline using the same source data. I can use the Python processor to expand my pipeline's functionality by essentially defining my own processor. By adding my own custom Python coding, I can achieve the precise functions I need. In this case, I want to get my customer data to a MySQL data warehouse so I can further analyze the unique customers coming in. As I save this, the output preview of the selected processor will update with the processor's actions applied. I can see exactly what lines of customer data will be written out to a table within the MySQL data warehouse. To officially write that data out, I'll add a destination. I'll locate my connection and select that dataset. I'll modify my output a bit by indicating I want it to upsert, create a table if it does not exist, and select ID as my operation key. And once I click save and run this pipeline, I'll be able to analyze this data for fraud detection, for example. Now let's finish the second output flow in my pipeline by adding some additional processors and sending the order data into ADLS. First thing I'll do is normalize the product data. 
This converts complex nested values of a single record into X number of flattened values, thus making the move into my Azure Data Warehouse easier. Now I'll add a field selector in order to pull out the customer data I want. I want the date, order ID, products, and customer ID. I don't need to have the schema of my data memorized to link my field names to my field paths. Pipeline Designer will automatically list a collection of similar fields within the data to choose from, ensuring you're selecting the exact data you need. So with my processor set, I'll indicate my output destination to write out to ADLS Gen 2 storage. And my pipeline is complete. It streams data from my Kafka topic and then splits that data into two pipelines. It writes the customer data into a MySQL data warehouse, and then it writes the rest of the raw data out into ADLS Gen 2 storage for later analysis. So finally, in order to start streaming this pipeline, I need to select the Run Profile, where the pipeline itself will run. I'll click Run, which will start my process. And within a few seconds, data starts streaming in live. Using Pipeline Designer, I've constructed a streaming process within a talent-hosted environment, Talent Cloud on Azure, using some cool features to write out data. While showcasing our next use case, I'm going to walk you through a pipeline I've already built that is batch-oriented. It will read data that I'm currently writing out to ADLS. Focused on supporting fraud detection and my marketing campaign efforts, I'll add a couple new processors to push relevant data into another data warehouse, ultimately sending real-time updates to my Power BI dashboard. I'm taking the raw data from the first process I built and aggregating on product counts. I removed the data I didn't need and adjusted my type to integer. Finally, I wrote it out to an orders table. Using a replicate processor, I created a second flow to aid the work of the fraud detection team. I joined the data containing my product count and other customer info using a join processor with the other customer data already in the data warehouse. I've indicated which keys should be used to join the columns within the two tables. So now I have product data on the left combined with customer data on the right. I'll work this data a bit more by adding a field selector to limit the output to only the fields I want. I'll aggregate by credit card number in order to find the total price and basket amount for a selected length of time for that credit card. I will also identify combined purchases over $900 and more than two orders in total made with the same credit card. This data will be written to ADLS Gen 2 storage, so further machine learning processes can be done on those transactions to help me determine if there is any fraudulent activity. And just like that, I've created a batch process to read my raw data on ADLS and aggregate and push the results into my orders database. I can use my output data to also support fraud detection. With my batch process running, I can head back to my dashboard and click refresh to review my updated customer and sales information. And success! I can see my customers have increased and there's some growth in my activity heat map. My customer genders are now more evenly represented, confirming the campaign that I'm running, aimed at bringing more male customers into my store, has been working. But since the average age hasn't come down, I need to continue working on my clothing line to be fresher and more fashion forward to draw in younger audiences. But I'm starting to get real insights from my data in real time. And this is all thanks to Pipeline Designer with Talent Cloud on Microsoft Azure. Enjoy the flexibility and agility of building pipeline processes while choosing from an increasing number of supported connectors and processors. Take advantage of the native integration with the Azure ecosystem, including connectivity to services such as SQL Data Warehouses, ADLS Gen 2, Azure Data Bricks, and more, ensuring you can connect all your data, adding to its trustworthiness and value when drawing insights. And if there are issues with your data, this platform allows you to quickly and easily cleanse your data, thus increasing its overall quality. All of this is done within a unified environment, sitting within Talent Cloud on Azure. 
We also give you the ability to connect to on-prem, hybrid, and multi-cloud environments so you can access your data from basically anywhere. And finally, take advantage of the speed and agility of Azure DevOps by using it to manage your talent pipelines within a fully automated CI CD environment. Try a free trial of Talent Cloud on Microsoft Azure today and begin designing and building pipelines to aid your data insights. All done in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching and please continue watching for more demonstrations of Talent products.